Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, I'm going to be explaining why I think the Nocturus encounter for the interference mission is great. And you might think that's a little bit hip, uh, hypocritical because if you guys know my stance on how they handled Nocturus in Warmind, I absolutely hate it because they essentially turned him into a strike boss. Now, you might be wondering, what? well, I mean, at least in the strike, we can do it multiple times. He's been there for a long time. So why would you hate that, but not hate the Nocris mission where, you know, it's literally a story mission that's going to go away. And I, I, the way I thought, I thought of it was a, look at this. It's the corridor and the actual court of Oryx. I thought this was really cool. Uh, this might be its own area or whatever, but immediately I was like, this looks like Court of Oryx. This looks like Oryx's fucking room or whatever, like his uh, Ascendant Realm. It looks fucking, I, I was, I was wild and guys, I was really excited. Now you guys might see that the video skips. Uh, unfortunately, my camera has memory leak. And if you guys don't know, a lot of recording comes with memory. So my, mem my memory's just fucked. So that's why you, you will see my video skip. And that's why I don't have audio, unfortunately, because the audio like just fucks up really bad. I don't know if that's my memory issue or if it's a shadow play, but whatever, it's my life. But so let me explain my thought process. I really, really love this whole encounter. I think it was great. Um, it definitely reminded me how hard uh, a Court of Oryx was back in the day, but mostly it's really cool because we get to see Nocris actually talk in game, and I thought that was fucking cool. If I remember correctly, the voice actor for Nocris is Mark Hamill, and if you guys don't know, Mark Hamill, as in Luke Skywalker, uh, Joker from Batman, the cartoon, like. Mark Hamill's pretty fire when it comes to voiceover. So if it is Mark Hamill, I'm going to lose my mind a little, but I'm pretty sure it's Mark Hamill. Uh, if, if it's not, I'm definitely going to have it uh, in the comments below. Like I'm wrong, but pretty sure. But what's really cool is that like the audio he gave out was really cool. And I know I'm, I'm skirting like the main reason, but the main reason I think this is really cool is because he's back Nocris is alive again and i know people are gonna be like well i know well duh we didn't kill kill him because we didn't kill him in uh in the ascendant realm i know i know and i know a lot of people are gonna be like and he's probably dead dead in this one because he's he died in the ascendant realm but you also got to remember that Nocris is all about resurrecting he's a he's necromancer so my hope is that they le legitimately make this dude come back. And I don't mean like all oh, again and again and again. I hope that they're hyping him up so that way he can become like a boss or insert something here. Like if he becomes a raid boss for like, let's say the next, uh, the next expansion, not beyond light, but the next one after that, which is a uh, queen, uh, queen something. I don't remember what it's called. Um, the Taken Queen? No, it's not that. Um, Witch Queen. If she, if he comes out as a boss for Witch Queen, like, can you imagine Witch Queen comes out and we see Nocris as like the second to last boss or la the last boss? That would be so fucking cool because they essentially Bungie would be redeeming their their folly of not using Nocris as a boss for an encounter or a raid, which is what I think they should have done in Warmind. I think Warmind's uh, raid should have been hive themed and it should have been around what the story was actually about instead of just whatever the fuck we did there. And I know people are gonna be like, well, it was connected to the story, but I mean like connected to the story in like, as an example, the Taken King DLC or expansion had us kill Oryx in in our plane the normal plane then after that he goes back to his ascendant realm the raid is us 
finishing the job as in us killing him in his own realm that's what i wanted to see i wanted to see us like basically kill nakris and zul and then in the raid we we fucking do that again but this time it's actually going to be their deaths so i was expecting some sort of that like i would lo i love it when bungie connect their story and their raids together in a very open way because then i'm like oh cool i know exactly how it connects instead of me being like okay how does this connect in the lore someone explain it to me or i look it up through like buy for something you know so that's really it that like i'm more happy about this honestly the mission itself was really fucking cool i think it was a lot of fun but it's more of the possibilities that i think about when i think about like Nocris himself i like Nocris. i think Nocris was cool when i first saw him the fact that he's a necromancer the fact that oryx dethroned him and erased all records of him because he didn't follow the way of the sword i think that's really fucking cool and for them to belittle him and not use him the way that they used like crota or even his sisters bro like it's just for me it was very disappointing so obviously this was also a really cool part of the the mission as well we got to see like the fall no the hive right there i think the fallen are next yeah the fallen then the cabal and then the humans and then the vex not being there i thought this was really cool obviously i, I wondered why the vex weren't there and i still don't know the answer to that i'm gonna probably look up a video right now but I thought this was really cool as well. I was like, what the fuck? This looks eerie. But this is really just a video of me explaining like my hopes for the future. Like, I really do hope that they bring back Nocris and even Zol to a certain extent. Like, I would love to see like Zol as a little worm that, that Nocris is like helping to regain power and us actually having to kill him like in his own like plane of existence or whatever. I would love to see so much more of that shit because it's just don't let him go to waste like he's such a cool character so that's that's really the video i wanted to make if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below let me know your thoughts in the comments below what did you think about this mission let's talk about it in the comments below be safe guys you know what's happening in the world and other than that i will see you guys later Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, I'm going to be explaining why I think the Nocris encounter for the interference mission is great. And you might think that's a little bit hip, uh, hypocritical because if you guys know my stance on how they handled Nocris in Warmind, I absolutely 